Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about one of my most favorite makeup products ever and it is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. I quickly just wanted to thank Makeup Forever for sponsoring a portion of this video. This is obviously the finished look. Catch me in it all the time for the rest of my life. <sighs> I just love this face so much. I'm gonna be showing you that you can mix the powder foundation with liquid products, because I feel like people are iffy about that. So let's just go ahead and get into the video, because you know that I'll sit here and just talk, and then it'll be silent when it's time to do our makeup. So without further ado, let's get into it. Today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about one of my all-time, all-time, favorite powder foundations of life. If you are familiar with me and my channel, I feel like you already know what I'm gonna talk to you about, but I feel like when the summer months roll around and the humidity starts kicking in, I like to wear less makeup, but I still like to have a little bit of coverage and nothing compares to the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. It's just the best powder foundation I have ever used, and I've tried a lot. I've tried some before it, some after it, and I always go back. This is my quick go-to summer phase. I love that I'm talking about summertime and humidity and I have on a long sleeve sweater but you guys know that I like to keep it nice and chilly in the house so I'm usually always in a sweater when I'm hanging out inside I just love it, it makes me feel cozy like I'm wrapped in a blanket and like I'm very into this green color at the moment I'm gonna pin my hair out of my face so we can get this moving and grooving but can we just take a second to appreciate the hair growth thank you thank you Thank you. This powder foundation situation is also great for anybody kind of just diving back into makeup or anybody that likes just minimalistic makeup. Let me just show you how many of these Makeup Forever powder foundations I just currently have within an arm's reach of me. How many is that? Three, four, seven? Seven? I have seven in their actual individual little packaging like this. And then you guys have seen my one that I have just like it's magnetic situation so when I tell you this is my powder foundation this is my powder foundation my shade that I normally wear is Y 315 it's a bit it's gonna be a little bit darker than me right now just because I am l transparent I just haven't been in the Sun in a really long time and I haven't been doing like any self tanning so when I do a powder foundation I like to moisturize my skin at least 15 minutes 20 minutes prior to me doing my powder foundation routine I like the moisturizer to like sink into the skin and it not be like a fresh sticky moisturizer before I apply it that's just me and my preference I just like how it applies better. This is a brand new sponge, and I also feel like a lot of the magic lies within this little makeup sponge. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Boom, I don't have a zoom lens, so I'm just using it in Final Cut. So if the quality kind of compromises itself a little bit, please deal with me. This lens is only a 50 millimeter, and he don't get any closer. So I'm just gonna pick up a lot of the product. I, I, I like to go ham, okay? I like to get a good amount. Like, look at the coverage on the sponge. And then I'm gonna, which side has more blemishes? I'm breaking out currently. <laughs> I'm currently um, breaking out. I had some dairy ice cream and I shouldn't have bad tisk tisk. But let's just do one swipe. Squeeze me. It's insane the amount of coverage that you get. I just love it so much because it's such a full coverage powder foundation you can apply it so quickly and even though it's full coverage it still feels really lightweight on the skin really breathable it's also a buildable powder foundation so if the one swipe isn't enough coverage for you you can go in and just kind of tap maybe if you have some blemishes over them is what I like to do just to get a little bit more coverage in those areas also a very blurring powder foundation it never feels cakey to me at all I'm trying to be careful around my brows just because I I just laminated them but it's okay it also does like such a great job at controlling the oils on your skin without it being too drying like I said I never feel cakey in this powder foundation at all no matter how much I put on I feel like it always looks like skin I feel like that's one of the secrets to it too it's just even though it's matte it has this really skin like texture to it I don't even know if texture is the right word but you just look so blurred and flawless like even if you had to like run out of the door really quickly you could just pop this powder foundation on and be on your way. I tell people too that I've never tried this powder foundation, like friends and family and stuff, like you really don't see the magic until you apply it for the first time yourselves because I feel like it really visibly reduces the appearance of pores on your face and you just look so 
flawless and smooth with it. It's available in 30 shades at Sephora. Really, to use it is to love it. I also love the packaging of it too. It's super portable and slim, so it fits in even my tiniest of bags, which is really important because sometimes when you're out and about, you don't want to take a lot, and I can just take this with me if I need to do touch-ups. I feel like I did that so fast that we should do like a side-by-side -side comparison just so you can see the difference of my face before and after I applied this. Every time I use it, I say it every time I talk about it, I don't know what they put in it, but it was something that involved magic. It was some something like that. If you have not tried this, I don't know what you're waiting on. All right, I think it's enough of me singing my love song to the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. I'm gonna do a couple more things to the skin, just kind of bring it all together and make us look a little more dimensional and not just like so flat. So I'm gonna use the teeniest, tiniest bit of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. You guys know that I'm obsessed with this also. I'm gonna use it in the shade 2-3, which is pretty bright, and I'm only gonna do one dot like this. That's it. That's all I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna take like a fluffy brush like this and just kind of swirl it out right in that like darkest portion underneath my eye and then I'm just gonna pull it over here. Sometimes I add the actual liquid concealer like I just did and sometimes I don't. It's just depending on like how much time or like how big of a rush I'm in just give that a little tap. You can see we just look a little bit brighter underneath the eyes. I'm just gonna run the brush over my lids too. Brighten this up. You don't have this Makeup Forever concealer. A lot of concealers play really nicely with this powder too, so don't think that you have to use this concealer with it because I've, t I've tried so many with it and they all play really well. And then taking this really bright powder foundation, this is these are all the same Make It Forever Matte Velvet Skin powder foundations in here. I'm just gonna use this um, to really brighten that area up. So I'm just gonna push that underneath the eye. Since this is such a full coverage powder, you don't have to add the actual liquid concealer under there. I just like to, because I feel like the two of them together We'll keep this area bright all day long. And then we'll just brighten that up like that. Don't be stingy either when you're like picking up the powder foundation on the brush, because it's not gonna be as full coverage. And then this will give us our brightening under eye highlighting effect. As you can see, I'm pulling it down lower than I actually had the concealer. Like you see, I'm like down here. Just because I want this area to be bright and lifted. You can obviously add this to other points that you would usually highlight on your face, like your chin and the center of your forehead. I like to take a little on my finger and just hit my nose for a natural looking nose highlight. I'm gonna do a little bit of cream blush. This is my <laughs> holy grail apparently now too because I just love this blush so much. This is always my base blush regardless if I set it with a powder or not. I'm always starting with this as like my main blush. So it is a cream blush from Milani and is in the shade Cheek Kiss? No, it's in the shade Nude Kiss. The cream blush is called Cheek Kiss. So the higher you keep your blush, the more of a lifted appearance you're gonna get to your face which I'm sure we've all seen everybody talking about blush techniques and all that. So then I use a brush that doesn't have any product on it and just kind of move it into the place that I would like it. I'm gonna blend this out a lot because I'm gonna set on top of it with a much brighter blush. So the key to applying products on top of powder foundation is you wanna do a lot of this stippling, just pushing it. You don't want to do a lot of swiping because you don't want to move the product around a lot underneath. So you just want to push into your skin. I wanted to use the cream products with the powder foundation just so you guys weren't like intimidated and didn't think that you couldn't like mix and match because you can. And then I always like it across my nose. So then for a little bit of powder brush, I'm going to powder brush, powder blush, I'm gonna use the Carly Bible Il Maquillage. This is her new collab that just came out. Um, I'm using the medium face palette. I'm obsessed with the blush that's in here, and I love the actual blush brush that comes, well, it doesn't come, but you can get it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on top just to lock our blush in. And I take mine pretty close to my under eyes, you can see, like, I'm like up in there, okay? I feel like there's a ghost back there and that's why it's like focusing on it. Like, hello? Okay, here we go. 
This is me going all out my powder foundation routine. Usually I would just leave my brows like just not filled in, but I feel like because I didn't give them like a little tint too, they're just looking a little sparse. So going on and then that's all that I'm gonna do to them. Cool. So then if you wanna add something to your lids, you can, but I'm just gonna go over them with a little bit of this brightening. I call it a brightening powder, but it's not. It's the powder foundation. I just use it, like I said, as a brightening powder. So I'm just gonna put that on the lids to keep them oil free. I'm gonna go in first with the Benefit Their Real Magnetic Mascara. I really like this mascara. This one just helps your lashes to like stay up like this because I have pretty long lashes, but they like to be like this, meow, and we want them like this, wee. I feel like the magnetic just helps keep them up. But I also really love the Pacifica. This is the Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash Mascara. Um, the brush is a little odd, so I feel like if I started with this mascara that I wouldn't be able to grab all my lashes. But I do really enjoy this mascara as well. So I'm just gonna give those a second to get a little bit more dry, but not super dry, and then I'm gonna curl them again. If you do curl your lashes when they're wet, do it at your own risk and be cautious. I've been doing it for years. It really just helps my lashes. And then, voila. Now our lashes are up in the air where they're supposed to be. So then for a lip, the majority of the time I just leave it like this with a little lip balm and go on with my day. So like if I'm eating, drinking, whatever, I'm not worrying about messing up my lip. But for the video, I'm gonna put on a lip. I'm gonna use the Carly Bible Il Maquillage Collab. This is their waterproof aligner. It is the best lip liner ever. These liners launched like three days ago and I, like, I think I bought like 11. And then I fill in a little bit of the lip, like the actual lip. This is what I do when I really wanna make my lips look plump. I'll take a darker lip liner. This is also from her Il Maquillage collab. This is in the shade Luna, which is just a little bit darker. It's more of a brown tone. This is more of like a nude pinky tone. So right at the top here. This is more of my night lip if I were to do this. And then just soften that. Okay, this is my Tweety. And I'm just gonna tap this in the lip. I'm gonna put a little bit of Libra on top of this to tone it down a little bit. Of course, I'm gonna add a gloss, and this is Aurora from Lunar Beauty. It's like the same exact color of the lip we just made. So glossy. And then this is my completed face. I threw a little bit of extra steps in here, but I could honestly get through this face in about, I'm not gonna say like two minutes or five minutes, cause no, like sometimes it takes me five minutes to do just my lip liner. But like say I skipped a lip liner and, and skipped cleaning up the brows, I could honestly probably do this face in like eight minutes tops. Like if I was like in a crunch, I could go to it so fast. Lip liner included, cause sometimes it doesn't take me five minutes, sometimes it takes me 10. It's just depending on the mood, the time, what I'm doing, where I'm going. Love this face. Catch me in it all summer 2021. Catch me in it for the rest of my life, okay? If you guys enjoyed this face, I will have all the products that I used listed in the bottom bar. I think I'm gonna go take some IG pics because I can't let this makeup go to waste. As always, I will have all the products that I use listed in the bottom bar for you guys. Make sure you check out the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Again, it's available in 30 shades at Sephora. Thank you again to Makeup Forever for sponsoring a portion of this video. And I think that is it for me, so I'm gonna go before the sunlight goes down, get some pics. So if you see me in this outfit, mind your business. <laughs> so that is it for me. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you super soon in a new video. Bye, guys.